Creating your own photosynth is actually really easy to do. You just need a Windows PC, the photosynth software, Microsoft Silverlight, and a camera. We'll go over the process of actually making a photosynth in a second, but we should talk about how to take pictures to prepare for making that photosynth first. It's not the same as just taking a panorama, you have to move around quite a bit. You start off in one space and just kind of turn around yourself in 360 degrees, getting everything around you. But you're also going to want to do that a couple of times so you get stuff above and stuff below. Then you can move forward into the next position and do the same thing. You're going to want to have a camera with a pretty fast shutter because it's going to take a long time otherwise. Plus, you're going to need to get a ton of photos. If you haven't taken at least 200 photos, you're probably not taking enough. You have to be even more thorough than you think. It's going to seem a little ridiculous at first, and you're going to look kind of silly walking around with a camera taking pictures of absolutely everything. But the more data you have, the better the synth will be. Okay, let's actually make a synth. Presumably, you already have your Photosynth software installed and all of that, and you have your Microsoft Live account that you can log into when you load the Photosynth software. So I'm doing that right now. And here is the panel. It's really easy. You can add photos and just select them, or you can drag them in yourself. There we go. And it picks a thumbnail automatically for you. It may not be the one that you actually want to use, so go ahead and change that if you'd like. So all you really have to do is name your photosynth, tag it, and add a description. When you're done, hit synth, and you're going to be waiting a while. It will take a little while to generate the image files. It's not terribly long. After that's done, the time it's going to take is really going to depend on how fast your upload speed is. Once the upload is complete, you're all set. You can go into your Photosynth account and check out what you made.